the fastest way to blow up account is to ask someone on social media what to do next. Follow to learn, follow to get ideas, but never follow blindly anyone on social media, paid or free services. Hey there, I'm here from FibonacciTraders.com here with the Daily Market Recap. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends and without any further ado, let's see the charts. Apple earnings came out, market reaction 2.5% to the upside all the way to 169.79. Now let's see if Apple can close the week above this level here, above the 171 area. Closing the week above this one, we can high probability that we will reach the 175 and maybe all the way towards the 180 with this upper white trend line. Shopify earnings came out, market reaction 24 to the upside. At some point it was all the way to the 60 area, then gave some back, but overall very bullish reaction. This we can delete. All we have to do now is follow the price, use levels to the downside and to the upside to manage our risk. If you follow me on Twitter and you saw previous videos, you know these levels. We drew these levels few weeks back and not surprising, it's holding as support, as resistance. Now all we have to do is manage our risk according. Spy on the daily, another bearish day. 403 is holding, 406, 407 resistance from support. 406, 407 area became resistance. We do have here a slight gap at yesterday's lows. Let's see where market will take us. If Apple goes up, market also will go up. All we have to do is follow price and use levels and trend lines to manage our risk. A weekly close below the 403, in my opinion, this gap at the 396 will get filled sometime next week. QQQ, doji, but to the downside, this area of the 315 is holding because market knows bulls of the queues, they know that 314 will break to the downside. We are going towards this gap at the 308. So bulls are defending this area with all they have. And as you can see, this area of the 314, 315 since end of March is holding as support. IWM, same thing here. Bulls of the IWM are holding strong the 170. This 170 look left. Very important level of support. Breaking to the downside, 163 is next. All we have to do? is follow price, look left, where price came from, and with high probability, using trend lines and support resistance, Fibonacci if you want, we can know with high probability where price will be heading next. Dow Jones closed the gap, almost, 331, broke to the downside, now we have a double top scenario, in the making on the Dow, 330 needs to hold, otherwise we are going towards this gap at the 322. VIX, you know these green lines because you follow me on Twitter and you saw previous videos. And if you remember and if you saw previous videos, you know these three green lines, we drew them two or three weeks back. And here we are, only by looking left, we can know with high probability where is the next support, where is the next resistance. Bitcoin price range is getting tighter and tighter. And as we can see, Bitcoin is moving sideways between this red trend line since April 21st. And this red trend line, let's see where price is taking us. All we have to do, is follow price and use these trend lines as our roadmap to the future 
price action. Trend lines are the true support resistance for price because if we look left, this red trend line from resistance, from a very strong resistance over here, strong resistance over here, now acting as a very important area of support. This red trend line from support, support, and we go all the way also to here, it was support, now it's resistance. So trend lines are not only the support resistance, they are also the roadmap for future price action. Ethereum, basically also doing nothing since April. 1930 to the upside, tough resistance, 1800 to the downside, very important level of support. Long, above, short, below, follow price, use levels to manage your risk. SMH, very tight price range. We have this short term trend line with the lower highs. We have the 238 red trend line, very important level of support. Breaking below this red line, we are going to retest this yellow trend line to the downside. Oil trying to bounce off this blue trend line, but overall, if we look left, oil is in a very steep downtrend channel. So downtrend until proven otherwise on oil. AMD trying to get back inside the white uptrend channel went all the way up to 91 30 92 during the day had some news with cooperation with microsoft we don't follow the news we follow price and as we can see not surprising if we take swing low swing high 618 the 9150 resistance price went all the way up got rejected now let's see how amd will close this week amazon doji after doji indecision on amazon but on the positive side amazon is still in an uptrend until proven otherwise can amazon break up and above close the week above the 106 maybe of the above the 107 area then with high probability next week we will retest this trend line over here and maybe breaking up and above towards the 118. Tesla another day, another doji, another indecision day on Tesla. And if the market cannot decide what to do with Tesla, we surely cannot decide. So we sit and wait and see who will win. Bulls team above the 163 or bears team towards the 146 gap. If bulls will give up trying to close above this 163 area, as we can see, it's a very tough resistance area in the past week or so. If bulls will give up, this gap will get filled. Meta, let's clear the chart. This gap is trying to pull price inside and down because gaps are meant to get filled 80 percent of all gaps will get filled throughout time and this gap is trying to pull the price back inside it now all we have to do is take fibonacci swing low swing high next level of support is at 225 failing to hold this gap will get filled microsoft another day another doji 306 307 area very tough resistance and we have this red trend line that needs to act as support because it was a very strong resistance breaking up and above post earnings now 310 to the upside strong resistance this red trend line needs to hold above the 309 we are going towards the 316 and maybe 330 Below this red trend line, we are going back to the 294 and maybe all the way closing this gap over here. Google, another day, another sideways move on Google. Nothing much on Google. Long continuation above the red trend line 
short below the yellow one. Nvidia, another day, another doji, another indecision day on Nvidia. 280, 281 to the upside, strong resistance, 265, 266 to the downside, important level of support. Long continuation, a weekly close above the 281. Short weekly close below the 266. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for more educational resources. Until the next video, stay safe.